So today we're doing an unboxing and I'm really excited about this because as a mobile VR developer, I've always been building for devices like this and this and I build it to a phone and then I got to put the phone into it and then the phone gets too hot or the screen's dirty so I got to clean it off or the screen has a, has a crack in it or the phone's not fast enough or the gyroscope doesn't respond quick enough or the field of view is too small because the lens is too small or there's the problems never stop and then there's always a question in my head why don't we take this android hardware some good mobile gpu build it all into an all-in-one headset and have an awesome mobile vr headset that's what this company is doing ideal lens and that's what we got right here ideal lens has actually a couple different uh, mobile vr headsets they're they're all all in one and so one of them the best coolest looking one is called vr monster has a 5K resolution, 180 degree field of view. Um, then you also got the Ideal Lens K1 and the Ideal Lens K2. So one of those is inside of this box. And I'm excited because, like, I, because I'm already developing for Android and mobile VR. My, my games are already going to essentially work out of the box for us. They have a little SDK and... I'm going to do tutorials on how to use that, um, but it's, it's very straightforward, easy to port your game over to get it onto the exclusive store that's, that's going to be tied in to these all-in-one headsets. So let's get this thing opened up and check it out. So this is the Ideal Lens K2. Look at that VR headset. Look at that. VR headset. I'm ready to check this thing out, see what we got inside. A very cool case in here. And yes, look at this case. It it's it's so smooth. I can carry this thing around like this. I don't need a massive gaming PC or a backpack to go with me to take my VR with me. Look at these zippers. These, man, this thing's great. I, I love this case. Oh yes, this is good. This is the best. This is definitely the most impressive uh, mobile VR headset that I've ever that I've ever gotten. All right, let's get this thing out. So the K2, here it is. Wait. There it is. How to use the thing. I, I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Really, uh, really lightweight. This, this is great. Okay, I'm going to set the headset down. Let's take a look at it, though. Now, normally, there's this, you know, big flap to open up here. And, uh, and this thing doesn't have it because it's an all in one, it's an all in one unit. I don't have to put my phone into it. Uh, so this, this, this is great. So let's take a look at the, uh, wow. Look at this on the back of the head. This is I mean, this thing is going to stay right on your head. And it's comfortable. Really lightweight. Very lightweight. I, I'm, I'm almost positive that's, that's lighter than the Gear VR. I need to I need to get the scale out maybe but but uh, just feeling the weight here and then I put this one on yeah it definitely feels much much lighter and and really comfortable all of these pads are all these pads are great really uh, really thick pad
all around the face. Look at the size. Look at the size of these lenses. These things are massive. Biggest lenses you've ever seen on a Melba VR headset. I don't have the new Gear VR yet, but maybe I'll unbox one of those, but I'm not near as excited at this point. Look at this. This thing is, and, and I mean, just look at, here's, here's what you got on the back of your head. And I'm not trying to compare, you know, because this one doesn't have anything on the back of the head, but, you know, here, here's what you got. And then you got this heavy thing up, you know, up at the front. And here you, it has the whole, and it looks adjustable. I don't, I'm not sure what it's doing back here. But yes, this is definitely the comfortable VR. And it works really good to actually pull this away, pull this away from your head. I haven't powered it on yet. I want to see what else it, uh, it comes with here. But you got the touchpad here. There's a button right here. I'm not sure what this is for. It might not be a button. That might, that might be for a, a different strap. There's definitely a button right here. You got, you got this button. And then on this side, it has the plus and the minus. I want to get this booted up. So yeah, here it is. It has a uh, the, yeah. So these are for the. Uh, you don't have to use this um, head strap. Apparently, they have they have regular style straps. And then I want to see what's in here. Okay, it has the uh, it has the charger. The ideal lens charger, and I'm guessing the battery on this is dead. I don't know how to power it on. Uh, I'm gonna try this button. The light came on. Okay, it's working. The ideal lens. It's showing the logo, so it's uh, it, it's booting the OS, Android OS. It looks really good. So it's telling me to to use my touchpad to swipe and uh, set my set my brightness setting 32% I can see my battery I can see what time it is it has a cinema a store settings so it's a whole OS inside of VR unlike uh, other mobile VR you know you take it out and you do your take it out of VR and you do your OS stuff on the phone this is a uh, this is the entire OS in VR. Okay, so I'm gone. I've gone into the App Store, but it says I need to check my network status. I'm gonna have to get. Uh, I'm gonna have to get online, but here in, I'm here in a store, and uh, it's the Ideal in store. The escalators over there. And uh, there's you can you can shop for games apps. There's a little robot over there. So this is very cool. I really I'm very impressed by this uh, by this headset. The cool thing is because because I'm already developing for Google VR and Gear VR, it's it's essentially the same my game works already on this so all I gotta do is a real quick port with their SDK 
and uh, publish it to their store. So I'm going to have tutorials about how to do that. I'm going to find out myself, go through it, get my apps compiled to this, get it working, and show you guys how to do it as well. Um, definitely check out their website, check out their headsets. There's a developer section, so you can, if you want to get your apps published in their store, uh, check that out. Okay, I'm going to get busy. Stay tuned for more tutorials, unboxings, let's plays, virtual reality, everything right here on the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Let me know what you think about the headset in the comments below. I'm excited to start developing for this.